All right, the Jesse Smollett case. Our next guest says, records of his phone calls, that's what did him in. Kirk mm. Knudsen, the cyber guy, is with us. Wait a second. He did not allow his phone to be turned over to the cops. Remember that? The report. Chicago police said he refused to turn oh. over his phone. They didn't need it. Do you know why? Why? CDRs, it's a call detail report. Every one of the wireless companies keeps such extraordinary records on all of us, including potential liars. And so that's how they caught him so uh, along he, with... So he said, no, you're story. not having my phone. You can't look at my phone. Uh -huh. So they said, okay, we'll go to the records. So did they subpoena the wireless Yeah, three company? ways to get it. A warrant, criminal warrant, yeah. a subpoena for civil case, or you yourself can actually mail a notarized letter to the wireless carrier asking to see your own CDR if you're the account holder. Okay. There's only three ways to get it. So police easily got a warrant for this. Probably got, and all, I don't know, but probably got a warrant for a couple other people involved in this case. Sure to just make sure that information lines yeah. up. Now, you said that it was extraordinary detail. We're talking about where your phone is, when it's making a phone call, getting a phone call, sending a text, or participating in data of any kind. Up to the second, it records the timestamp, and then also exactly your location and which cell phone tower, geographically, that phone is connecting to. So if you want to tell me a story that you and I aren't here in New York, your phone's going to tell us a whole other story, no matter whether you've opted into anything or not. Any phone call that I make, any text message that I send, there is a record of it where I was at the time of that making the message or making the call. Where, where <laughs> what was in the call? Is that uh, all right? So not the audio recording. Uh, now they yeah. may be keeping that, but it doesn't come in the CDR when you get that data. Uh, what phone companies keep is the is the text log with this extraordinary data, and then uh, it depends on the carrier, but usually under a week is how long they keep the actual full text of a text inside of their systems. So you may not get the exact message that was sent, but you will get that it was sent, who it went to, when it was sent, and where you were when it was sent, and perhaps somebody else is willing to show their phone that's on the other end of that. Police and detectives and you know federal officers at this point have a trove of data that can tell whether somebody is telling the truth or not. And clearly, the Chicago police believe they have a strong case here uh, against Smollett based on this one CDR. That's fascinating. It is. By the oh. way, have you, you know how to do it. Have you ever gone to the phone company and asked for your phone records? You I, done I'm actually scared to look. I mean, I, yeah, <laughs> I'm like, this story in itself makes me want to put my phone in the microwave again and just, <laughs> just have it. Yeah, no, I still think my billion dollar uh, business would be to create a decoy for our phones and all the digital stuff in our life. So, so nobody <laughs> it says that your phone's in five different places at once. I don't know that it's going to succeed, but I've got to work on that idea. I like the sound of it. Yeah. That. You'll invest? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Ash, let's close him. No, Wait, by the yeah, end of the day. Hey,